One major component of your success in any kind of practice is how well you plan. Like the old saying goes, work smarter, not harder. You'll be more successful and therefore have more fun if you plan your practicing. But with all the different factors that come into play, which aspects of planning are the most important? How do you make a practice plan? This video will lay out some of my best advice on this topic. By the end, you'll be able to develop an effective practice plan on your own, while avoiding some common issues that can come up to get in your way. If you're using sheet music, the first step to any successful practice happens before you even play a note. You need to be sure you understand what's written on the page. Scan over your part sheet. What stands out to you? Are there markings on the page that you don't understand? Are there techniques pictured that you don't know how to perform? Are there words in other languages? If so, do you know what they mean? If any or all of these items are a mystery to you, do yourself a favor and take a minute to learn what it all means. Ask your teacher or go online to research the unknown information, then write it down so you don't forget later. Once you have your bearings with what's written on the page, you can begin to look into other aspects, such as style. Is it a dance or something more somber? Is it in a particular style, such as rock and roll, Irish traditional, American bluegrass, klezmer, classical? The way you practice the piece should take style into account, so find out what that style is. Listen to recordings, or simply research what other people say about the piece. If you know this going into your practice, it will make you much more focused and therefore much more effective. An effective practice starts with having your practice space all set up with essential items in easy reach. A pencil, sheet music, cleaning cloth, tuner, metronome, notebook, rosin, and a mirror are highly recommended. With all that set, get tuned and get to work. But where to start? High performers in any skill know this, and now you will too. You can't avoid the hard stuff. You should start as soon as possible on the hardest segments of your music because you will need the most time to learn those parts. Much like the mess under your bed or the upcoming essay in English class, the problem does not just go away if you ignore it. A champion player will make these tough bits a part of each practice, chipping away at them little by little until the part is no longer difficult at all. Some things may not seem hard until you try them. So for this reason, you should try every part of a piece on your first read-through. Other passages will appear difficult with just one glance. In either case, you should circle the trouble spots on your sheet music, and then write them down in your notebook so you can tackle those spots in future practices. Now that we've identified what's easy and hard about this piece, we get to actually practice. Plan your practice time according to what is practical and what you know you need to work on. If you know that you have 20 minutes and you would benefit from giving two trouble spots at least 10 minutes each, don't waste time on some other parts that are already a piece of cake. That's working hard, but not smart. Sure, it's more fun today to play that easy passage, but it will be more fun on concert day if you can play all the hard parts without panicking. Remember, you're practicing like a champion now. According to lifehack.org, Thrive Global, Dave Ramsey, and many others, based on research on how to become a successful and happy person, the number one secret to life is to be able to keep making small steps toward a goal. In other words, break down big challenges into baby steps. For some people, it seems like an easy or natural thing, but for most of us, the frustration of not being successful in this moment can overwhelm our motivations, and we are often tempted to quit. It is the same for practicing any skill. Your best bet, and the ticket to success long term, is to keep working towards your performance goals with targeted effort. You simply have to trust that over time, with enough refinements, your practice will yield results.
For this reason, it is important to practice frequently with routine. Stay organized and don't give up. Over time, it becomes such a joy that you will likely find yourself really having fun with your time in the practice room. Enjoy the journey!